I'm heading out riding today at the Ganaraska Forest, um, but before I head out and give this new WLF vest a try, I'm going to show you some of the features before I get it all dirty, and then we'll take it out on the trail, and I'll tell you what I think of it. First of all, I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> maybe I should wait for that opinion until later on once I've used it, but um, I saw this on uh, a friend, and I saw it on social media and some other things, and I thought this vest just looked perfect for a lot of the stuff I do. And when I actually saw it with my friend uh, Jason riding it, uh, I was really, really impressed with the quality, build, all the features. And now that I have it in my hands and I can play around with it a bit more thoroughly, I'm even more impressed. So let's start with what this is. This is a WLF vest that um, is meant for getting out on the trails and having the ability to carry a lot of tools um, without having all the weight distribution that comes with a lot of the other packs. So up here we've got some front pockets for easy access. You can see you've got this type of webbing, throw in a phone, something like that. You've got some elastic cording here, throw in some snacks, whatever you want. On this side, you've got another pocket, same thing, which is perfect because as we know, when we're out on the trails, we often want to just grab a phone, GPS, something like that. These pockets are big enough that you can throw your phone in there or your GPS, and you don't have to worry about rummaging through your pack to try and find them. Um, the other thing here at the back, um, all right, so before we get going, I want to show you that this is made of Cordura fabric. This vest is made in the USA. It's made in California. And the people who make them, uh, I got to chatting with them on social media. Really, really cool group of people. Um, they are riders, so they're building this for riders and the things that we can think of uh, as we're doing it. So that, that having that perspective is so important because as much as the big companies try, they're always missing something. And I'm sure they're getting some great feedback from their pros, but when you're out there riding um, the day-to-day -day riding and not racing in competitions or anything like that, you're gonna come up with something and think, uh, what is it that would make this better? Do I always need this pack here? Do I always need this tool here? Um, and that type of insight I think from what I can see in this vest is really what has made this special and, and um, uh, made this vest um, something that it stands out from the rest. Okay, so taking the vest off now, you can see on the back here, one thing that I thought is really cool is they've got all this Velcro everywhere. This one, you can see it actually says further together, which is WLF's um, motto, uh, which is really cool. But uh, you've got all this Velcro here where you can throw patches on, take them off, customize your vest so you can see here I've had a couple patches that uh, were laying around um, Red Bull Day in the Dirt a few other ones but yeah you can customize the way you want you've got molly webbing here that you can use with any accessories uh, really good for if you're doing um, work like re uh, rescue work you could throw radios things like that here it's got molly webbing up the front as well you've got a spot here to throw your line uh, on your, from your, your um, camel back, uh, from your bladder and your spout, throws through here, same with here. Um, it's, it's got a lot of uh, versatility uh, with, with what you can do to, to mount things on the outside. In here, you can see this unrolls. I'll come back to what these are for. But in here you can see, same, similar thing, you've got uh, elastic loops here to throw tools in, which I'm about to do. More elastic loops, so and smaller elastic loops within it. So that would be great for things like small trail spoons, tools, wrenches, whatever it is that you want there. This is a really nice way to throw your tools all in here and keep this weight low on your back so that you're not feeling it um, as you're riding. Another spot here opens up, keep things a bit more secure. So maybe a small first aid kit, something like that. All right, we'll do that back up. Up here, we've got a spot where you can quickly get your bladder in and out. Uh, this, is, this is actually, you can see here, this is the uh, elastic part. So you've got, you can put your bladder in there. Um, you've got another spot in here, which is just like a backpack. So you could throw whatever you want right in like that. Looks like it's lots of room. 
And then in here, another pack that's a, it's, it's a pocket that's about this size that zips up, which is again, great for something that um, you wanna keep secure right up at the top of your back, which is a really safe spot to keep things. So if you're worried about your phone, for example, you could throw it up. So one of those things that I was talking about earlier about having that insight as a rider um, is shown by this feature. So let's say you're going out and you think I'm going, maybe I'm going for a race, maybe I'm going for a really short ride, I don't need tools, um, I just wanna lighten the pack. Well, check this out. These clip off like so. You got this nice big Velcro strap here, comes off, this unclips, and then you've got this here to clip in like, oh, hang on a second, just like so. Clips in like that, and then in like that. So now, this turns into, instead of all these tools that are here, which would be good to have, but you don't always want that. You've got the ability to turn this into a much simpler bladder that you can use for riding. Isn't that awesome? That's such a great idea. And to be able to just convert it like that. And obviously a lot of thought has been put into that. And it's really nice to see that go into development and think, all right, perfect. Now, now I can just go out riding without having to worry about all the front packs. Uh, so you've got like your more expedition epic ride uh, and then you've got I'm just running up to the forest with some buddies for an evening trail ride and I want my bladder and maybe you want some essential tools in the back. So yeah, super cool that way. Um, and also, so let's say you want to reduce that further. Let's say you're going for a race. Under here, you can unclip this and this and this and because it's all through the mole, webbing system, this whole pack here will just slide right out. And now you've reduced that even further. So it's just this molly webbing and the bladder and whatever else you need. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. All right, so I'm gonna buckle that back up and I've got, I gotta be out of here in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna quickly try and pack this up with tools and I'll show you the first draft of what that looks like. But I'll probably end up putting more tools or something in it. But for now, I'm just gonna put everything back from what I had in my last pack. So before I was riding the uh, Climb Scramble, which I have to say is a great pack. I really, really like it, still like it. Um, but in comparison to this one, I have to say this is, um, without riding it and feeling it yet, this is a much better product, the way it's built and the quality of it. Uh, and my other Climb Pack, it's done very well to hold up, but now it's getting on to about uh, two years and the bottom of it, because all the weight of it is starting to come undone and the buckle of the front part here that holds most of the weight is also, um, has broken. But in fairness, I've ridden that quite hard. And I also know that the new Climb Scramble packs that just came out have a more heavy duty um, buckle. So I would definitely still recommend that pack. I think it's, I think it's a great pack to have, but um, if uh, you're looking for something to really uh, have on those longer rides and hopefully help with that weight distribution, um, this is another great option. Okay, let's load this up with some tools and see how it looks. All right, so I've got my bin of things here that I've taken out of my other pack, my Climb Scramble pack. And now I'm going to try and quickly throw them in here. Stay on budget. Okay, what do I got here? A whole bunch of stuff. All right, I got my bolts. And I guess the good thing here is once I get all this packed in here, then you guys will have, I can, I can evaluate the weight distribution and things like that. Here's one thing I would really recommend for people if is brake line fl fluid. Um, People, the other day people were like, you have brake line fluid? This has saved me so many times to have this. People are always breaking their brakes and needing to bleed it. Having this little thing is really gonna help you out on the trail. So there's just a quick tip for you. What I'm storing it in is a 50 mil paint sample bottle that I got from a buddy who's a professional uh, car painter. Adam, thanks buddy. In a quick access pouch. Here I've got some medication first aid kit. Um, this pouch up here, I think will be perfect for that. 
I always carry a little bit of extra tubing. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. These big, these big zip ties are a lifesaver. Bring these wherever you go. You probably saw the famous footage of Toby Price there when he broke down in the Dakar, him pulling out these massive zip ties. I've done the same thing many times over. Not right race the Dakar, but break things and have to rely on these. All right, so there you have it. I'm sure I could have done a lot better job with how clean it all went in there, but I'm in a bit of a rush. And so you get a rush job of what I've got. But you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here. And uh, now I'm gonna take it on the trail and see how it feels out there. Well, that's my alarm going off. Time to get Sandy. Putting the wolf fest to its first test here. Okay. I guess when you're falling, you don't really pay attention. Here I don't pay attention. They know I'm not going to be. Zip ties. There you go. Big one, medium, small. Uh, two, two big ones. Two big, big ones, like yeah. Toby Price. Oh my God. Like that size? I need long. So I got to wrap around that. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. <laughs> Final, final review. All right, so some final thoughts. I just finished the ride. We did about 60K today, and it was a big day. We, we really put this to the test. I fell on it a lot, um, slid along a log, cracked it off some trees. Um, so all in all, it was a pretty thorough test. A couple things, um, first of all, I love it. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I expected to love it, and when I got out there and tested it, I was uh, even more impressed than when I put it on this morning. A uh, few things that I noticed that I really liked, uh, right here, these loops make it so easy to access. So when you zip up, keep this up at the top, and you can just get these, these uh, quick access pouches open so easily. Uh, another thing I noticed is how easy it was to get into your hydro pack. So you can drop any size bladder in there, whether you have 1.5 or 3 liter, it'll just slide in there. And there's still lots of room in this second portion here as well. So I threw a couple more water bottles in there because it was a hot day. And it was nice to know that lots of water was there. Um, what else did I really like about it? Um, this mole is great. Uh, you can see I got my license plate on here because every time I put it on the back of my bike, it just comes off and breaks fenders and everything. So um, I zip tied it on here with this moly. That was a really nice feature to have there. And yeah, so some of the guys um, were really impressed by it as well. The guys I was riding with, they asked to try it on. They were, I think, most impressed by the weight distribution. They found that even though this is a heavy pack right now, because of what I put in it, once you put it on, the weight just goes away. It's, it's weird, but that's exactly what it feels like. It, it's just so well positioned with where it sits on your body that you just don't feel the weight. And even when I was riding quite aggressively today, crashing, um, I didn't notice it at all. I felt like I wasn't wearing anything. And what else? Um, 
Okay, so I was looking for something to be critical about because I didn't want this to, video to be just about how great it is. And I guess the only thing that I can find that I would be critical of, even though it's not really a criticism, is that when you're wearing these front parks here with the tools, uh, because there's no airflow going through on a hot day, your belly can get a bit warm. But if a warm belly means that you have your phone and everything that you need in front of you, I'll take it. And, and it doesn't really matter anyway, because as we saw earlier in the video, you can easily unclip these and throw on the, um, the L-shaped clip like that so that you can just run it as a tool pack um, and a bladder. And then of course you can take off the tool pack with the mole and just run it as a bladder as well. So all in all, A++ for this WLF vest. Um, thanks to the guys at WLF for being so great with support. Anyway, so they were great and um, they shipped this to me right away because I asked for it to be sent quickly so I could do this review for you and use it on some of these rides. Came all the way from California in a week or so. US made, Big Iron Moto approved. Thanks for watching.